But I want to point out, too, though, as far as the unsaved world's concerned, you know, this is talking about binding a strong man in order for you know, the thief to break in, but I believe the feel the demon to come into your house. You know, our, our body is our vessel. This is our house. This is, you know, Bible calls it the temple of the Holy Ghost when you're saved. Your body is that temple. But it's, it's like a house. It's, it's the, the vessel that we possess or inhabit as human beings, what our soul possesses, our soul inhabits, our body, right? So in order for a demon or a devil to possess someone, I believe that person needs to be bound, and it's not obviously a physical binding, but the Bible talks about sin as bringing us into bondage. And what you'll find probably all the time is that people who are possessed of devils are in some type of serious bondage to sin. Oftentimes they'll be alcoholics or drug addicts or things like that, that they've been brought into bondage of that sin, that making it that much easier because that weakens that person and allows them to be inhabited then by a devil. Now, if a believer is weakened or in a bondage of sin, I mean, we're free from sin in, in the sense that Jesus Christ has paid for all of our sins, right? And because we have Christ, because we have the Holy Ghost dwelling within us, it is impossible for a devil to move in. The Bible says that you know, all the believers, that we, we get indwelled by the Holy Ghost. The Bible teaches that. And in 1 John chapter 5, let me turn there myself. This is our memory passage. The Bible says in verse number 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? We overcome the world. Satan's not going to overcome us inside of our bodies when we've already overcome the world. But even furthermore, when you jump down to um, <coughs> verse number 10, the Bible says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God is made of a liar because he believeth not the record God gave of his son. When you believe on Jesus Christ, the witness, that witness that we're just talking about earlier, you know, it says there's three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. We receive a witness in ourselves. The Bible says like the God, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that, we're, that we are the children of God, that we are saved. So we have God's spirit residing in us, which makes it impossible because the devil can't overcome Jesus. The devil can't overcome the power of the Holy Ghost. There are no devils out there that have that much power to overcome God. And if God is residing in you, God in you, that hope of glory residing in you, there's no way any devil can ever take possession of the possession that's already been bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus. 